Hi, uh, this is going to be a really short video. I just wanted to show you guys the things I'm reading now, um, Bible-wise, and the devotionals I'm reading. These aren't the only ones I have, but they're the ones that I'm currently reading, and I'll just go into briefly why I'm reading these ones in particular, and then I'll wrap it up. All right, thanks. So we're going to start from left to right. So on the left side, I have Jesus is Calling by Sarah Young. It's a nice, easy read for daily devotionals. They're very short, and you can, it's a nice book, good leather. I think it's really well put together. Um, next, we have this um, New Testament slash Psalms and Proverbs. I do not know how this came into my possession. Um, it was definitely during high school. Um, I actually had two. I found two of them. So one had a name here that was my friend. And he was so glad that I found it. It was just sitting in a basement somewhere. Um, I went to a boarding school. Um, but this is a nice when I travel, so I don't really have much space taken up. I get to see the Word of God easily. So this is Walking with God by Dr. Charles Stanley. Um, it just has life principles, and then it has a lot of quotes that he uses, and it has the Bible verses to back up his quotes. So this is really nice. And these are the two Bibles I'm reading. This is the New King James Version of the MacArthur Study Bible. I know it comes in the ESV version, which I will be getting soon. So this is really good leather. Um, this is not the premium version. I know there's two versions, but um, I really like the notes that are in here. I think they're really set in sound. And the I love the shades of blue. It's really good. Um, pastor MacArthur is really good. He's the pastor at Grace to You. Um, yeah, like it'll have the like Peter's missionary trip maps like there, just so you can see them immediately. And it goes into like some words that are translated a little funny and like the actual like historical context of some things, which is why I like it over some other study Bibles. And some of them are quite awful, in my humble opinion. Um, and this next one is a KGV Bible that I will be giving to my aunt so she can read. So the special thing about this Bible is that it the print is super giant. It's really big. So if you're looking for a Bible that you can read, say, without your glasses, or you're just getting up there in the ages, and you just want to be able to see the Word of God without straining your eyes, this is the one for you. As you can see, like the text is really big. Um, if I, you can see like on the back that this is like the actual size of the text inside. Um, it's good. Now it's not the original KGB. It does not have the apocryphalia in it, but it nonetheless is a really good Bible, and I like this one over other super giant print Bibles because this one is actually super giant print. A lot of things say they're super giant print and if you want to pick this one up you can get it at Christian Art Publishers or I believe I bought this one on Amazon. So those are the few things that I'm reading right now. I hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing a full review of the MacArthur Study Bible soon and a full review of Walking with God and Jesus' Calling.
That's all for today, and I thank you for watching this video.